I know I have a problem and I know it's getting out of control but I figure at least I can entertain you with all the products that I bought and plus it was the VIB sale so I was able to get 15% off and if you're gonna get 15% off at Sephora you really can't pass that up no matter how many products you have because even then you want to purchase things that you know you like so that way once you run out of them you don't have to pay full price for them you know what I mean I am just going to be showing you all of the stuff that I got and pulling them out at random some of the stuff I may have peeked into and tried out and if I have I will let you know what I think of those products I believe the sale ends on the 11th so what's the date today the 9th you still got a couple days left if you are a VIB member at Sephora to pick up some stuff the great thing is you can do it online on the 11th and then get your stuff so uh, the first thing and actually I didn't purchase this at Sephora I purchased this at Macy's but I thought I'd throw it in this haul anyways and this is the bare mineral bleh, bare minerals biolucent mineral brightening treatment it looks like Dias and um, I have tried this out. I got this a little bit before the VIB sale. I got it because I was having some like dark spots, very odd dark spots like around my hairline right here. And I really didn't know what it was, but I thought, oh, it's just like sunspots or something. Kind of a strange place to get sunspots, but whatever. Nonetheless, I thought I would try out this brightening treatment to fade the sunspots or whatever it was on my forehead and brighten up my skin because like you guys know, I am embracing oily skin and looking for more like illuminating more radiant products for my skin as far as foundations go so I thought that this would help because what you're supposed to do is apply a little bit of this before your moisturizer in the morning and at night and then moisturize put your foundation on it's supposed to help brighten up your skin uh not a big fan <laughs> only thing that I don't like about this is the fact that it kind of like balls up on your skin and I promise you that I'm using it correctly. I'm following the instructions exactly how it says and it just balls up on my skin. So it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> Any of you guys have tried this and you've had that problem or you haven't had that problem or you've been able to avoid that problem, let me know so that way I can fix it because I would like to like it since I spent the money on it. So instead of this, I've just been using my MAC strobe liquid to make my skin look a little bit more radiant or turn any matte foundation into something with a little bit more of a luminizing effect. That was a bust. The thing that I got I'm not going to talk about too much because it is overly talked about. It's the Benefit Professional. I really, really like this stuff. It's obviously a primer that minimizes your pores and I do think that it works extremely well. So I was excited to get my hands on this and actually it came in a kit because I bought the kit because this was the same exact price as just buying the professional pro professional alone and it came with the fake up concealer so I thought that was pretty cool it's so cute it's this right here and it's just the concealer that has like the moisturizing uh, like balm around it with the concealer in the middle there's not very much product in there it's seriously like two centimeters of product but whatever it's free Something that I was just really intrigued by, and it is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Luxe Dry Oil. A lot of people have this. Uh, I know that NARS has one, Estee Lauder usually comes out with one every year, The Body Shop has one, Victoria's Secret probably has one too. It's just a shimmering dry oil, but most of those other ones that I mentioned don't actually tan you. This one is supposed to actually provide a natural looking streak free golden tan that lasts for up to 10 days. The quick drying formula is clinically proven to moisturize for up to 7 days. So it's moisturizing even after you're done moisturizing your body. I don't know, there was only one color, I don't know how well this is going to work, but I was thinking I would use it as a tan extender, so once I'm like I have done my self tanner, putting this on in between to kind of give myself that shimmering glow while possibly self tanning as well. There is like once you shake it up, it's so pretty to look at. I mean I'm just like mesmerized by it because it's got shimmer in there for sure mixed in with the oil. And once you put it on your skin, you can see the 
shimmeringness of it so it looks really pretty like in the sunlight it will catch certain light and just make your skin look very glowy it smells like fruit loops so if you don't want to smell like a fruit loop you may not love this however i did notice that the smell went away after a while it's just first when you apply it you're kind of like what the heck i didn't have cereal this morning and then the next product is yet another foundation. This is the Becca Matte Skin Shine Proof Foundation in the color Nude. This is what it looks like in the box, and this is what it looks like in the packaging. And I am actually in the middle of filming a first impressions of this, so if you see this look twice, you'll know why. And yeah, so we're putting it to the test right now, trying to see if it really is shine proof on my oily skin. Let's see. Whoop! Drop in! It like it's hot. The next product is the Sephora and Pantone color of the year. I'm trying to make it see, make you be able to see it without the glare. It's the color of the year blush and cheek palette, I guess you can say. And it is, the packaging is really, really nice for this thing. I mean, like it comes in like a nice box with the sleeve and then you pull it out. If you have muscles, you pull it out. <laughs> like a very sleek packaging. It's very thin, so it's great for traveling. Shield your eyes, because there is a mirror on here. And you get the Radiant Orchid Blush. This looks a lot like Morale by Illamasqua in the pan, which is one of my favorite blushes, but it applies much differently. And then you get more of like a champagne colored highlight and then a pinky colored highlight. But I've heard, I haven't tried this yet, but once you, I've heard that once you like apply this with this or this with this, you can really change the color of the blush. So you can actually get a lot of different colors out of this than you just see here, which is kind of cool. It's like, must buy everything when you get 15% off, even though it's only a few bucks. Okay, another product that I got from Becca. I've been really loving Becca lately. I've been loving Becca and I've been loving Bite Beauty and I just can't stop myself. Becca Resurfacing Primer. It's a line and pore minimizing mattifying formula. I did try the, uh, what's it called, the Becca Mattifying Primer last summer and it was just way too mattifying for me. But I'm hoping, 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 ah, I'm hoping that because this is a pore minimizing and mattifying primer that it will not be quite as dry. I haven't used it yet so I can't really say whether oh nice how long have I had lipstick on my teeth lovely so I can't really say if I love it or not but hopefully I do and this is something that I bought before but I can't remember if I showed you guys or not the glare is just out of control this is the Josie Maron Argon Illuminizer and it just looks like this this is one fluid ounce, but all these highlighters, they will last you like, they will probably outlive me because there's just so much product in there and you only need the tiniest amount. But I figured that I could use this by mixing it in with my foundation or applying it on my areas that I want highlighted. And I really like this because I think that it's beautiful on tan skin because it is more of like a bronzy champagne colored highlight and so I think it'll look great like all over the cheeks actually in the summertime so looking forward to using this this summer and another summery kind of product that I got was the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush if you have not tried these blushes I would totally recommend them because they really do last forever 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 they really do they even though I have oily skin, like, my foundation can be completely gone at 8 o'clock at night, but I'll still have blush on my cheeks with these. It's insane. So this is in the color Tipsy, and this is what it looks like right here. I just think that this is so pretty. It's very, very orangey coral, but when applied to the face, it just gives your skin a beautiful glow. And again, I think another product that will look phenomenal on tan skin, so... Once I get my summer on, it'll look a lot better. Oh, okay, so this is something, and if you guys have seen my foundation collection, you're like, why the heck are you buying foundations? I can't help it. So this is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. 
talks about this. Everybody talks about this. So I had to get my hands on it. However, I can't even tell you how many times I went to the store, put it on, and then I was like, no, the color doesn't match. So then I would have to return it. Buy another one. Get home. Shoot, the color doesn't match. Have to return it. I, I think I literally went through three until I really found the color that matched because like sometimes in Sephora the lighting is just so bad that once you get outside you're like holy moly this does not look good. That was me times three. Finally found the color that best matches me and it is uh, 127. So if you haven't seen this before, which I'm sure you all have, it looks like this and it's just supposed to be very blurring, like blurring fine lines, blurring pores, all of that. So that way, especially when you have HD 1080p and you can probably see every imperfection on my face, this is going to help me out. So thank you. We don't want these people to know how bad my skin is. Well, I did go kind of crazy with the Too Faced La Creme Color Drenched Lip creams. I bought a couple of them before the sale started and then I stopped myself because I was like I know that the sale is coming. So I only bought two before. One of them was in my March favorites which is the color Jelly Bean and that's the one that I was wearing on my March favorites. But then I also picked up Naked Dolly, Bon Bon, and Taffy. And Juicy Melons. <laughs> Whoops! Bon Bon I can't find anywhere. I have the box and I can't find the lipstick which is going to give me a mental breakdown if I can't find it because that one was my favorite. It's part of the spring collection for Too Faced and it's a very corally orangey pink color. Hopefully that makes sense. Do you get the visual? Juicy Melons looks like this and it's again more of a corally pink color. Naked Dolly which is a nude color. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the YSL Nude Beige Rouge Volupt lipstick, but a more affordable option. And it's just like a perfect true nude. It's not really a pinky nude, it's not really peachy nude, it's like a nude nude. A naked nude! And the next one that I picked up was Taffy. And Taffy is just like a baby pink color. So this one kind of reminds me of a glossier version of YSL's lingerie pink, which I really like as well. And another lip... <coughs> Whoa, did you hear my voice? Another lipstick, I'm getting raspy talking about lipsticks, is the Bite Beauty Lipstick, and this is in the color Retsina. Love this. It's more of a pinky nude, but it... This is like one of those colors that will just look beautiful on every skin tone. And I can't say I've been like, you guys are probably like, shut up about Bite Beauty. But I can't say enough good things about that company. I just really, really like them. And just so you know, they don't send me products or anything like that. I wish they did, but they don't. So this is all stuff that I have purchased on my own. And I just, I love the formula of their lipsticks. They're creamy, they're long wearing, they are not drying on the lips, they don't settle in your fine lines on your lips, and they just really look beautiful. And I, I just can't. I really wanna get Palomino, I think that's the color, next. It's like a bright fuchsia pink. Oh, so pretty, but I was trying to contain myself. Yeah. NARS Eye Paints, and this is in the color Solomon Islands. I showed this on Instagram a while ago, and I did test this out. Holy moly, look at that blue. I should have worn it today. It would have been perfect. Oh well. So this is just like wham, bam, thank you ma'am, bright blue. I cannot. I used it as an eyeliner. And it's funny because the first time that I used it, and the, I then went to Sephora. That's embarrassing. And the girl at Sephora was like, are you wearing blue mascara? Like she couldn't figure out what it was about my eyes, but she was like, it looks really good. I'm like, no, actually I'm using a blue eyeliner. And it's kind of cool when like you use something new and somebody actually notices it, but it just looks so, I don't know. It like brings out your eyes, but people can't really say like, oh, she's, her eyeshadow looks nice or oh, her, you know, eyeliner looks nice. They can't figure out what it is, but it just looks different, but in a good way. I read reviews online, like I didn't do any research before I went to Sephora that day, like usually I'll go online and read reviews and then like make my picks from there, but I didn't, I, it was just like one of those 
throw it in the bag kind of whims and I read the reviews on the way home and all the reviews were really bad on these and I'm like oh man like I was like man I made a mistake I shouldn't have bought it but then I got home and tested it out for myself and I have oily eyelids and it lasted all day long and I didn't have any issues with it I don't know if these people are you know using it without a primer or something like that but I really really like these I might go get a couple more Cause like, I'm not gonna be the one who's really gonna wear bright blue eyeshadow, especially like in a work environment, but blue eyeliner is okay, right? And then two more things that I picked up. I did actually use this. This is the Becca, yet again, blush. It's so cute. The packaging, no, okay. It's cute because it's little, but the packaging, it looks like a turtle. It's so bad. I wish they would do something to fix, to like, and vamp it up a little bit but whatever this is damsel fly mineral blush and it does have a very nice sheen to it but it's not glittery and it's definitely not matte it just looks pretty <laughs> this is the color right here I am wearing it today so you can kind of see it on my cheeks and these are pretty long-lasting too so pretty impressed pretty impressive Becca Finally, the last thing that I got was a NARS blush because it's really not a Sephora haul without a NARS blush. They're just my favorite. I love them. And this is in the color Luster and it's more of a peach, golden peach, like an apricot color, if you will. I'm getting much more creative with my adjectives here. Uh, this is just really, really pretty. It kind of looks similar to Damselfly. But um, it's just, oh, it's just a really nice color. By the way, I meant to say this in my last video. Thank you so much to the people who continue to like my photos or, you know, have some commentary with me on Instagram. It just makes it so much more fun when it's like that. So I should put their names down here. I'm going to do that in my next video. So thank you so much to those people, you know who you are, who like my photos and talk to me on Instagram because it just really does make it so much more interesting. Like, oh yes, one more thing. I want to find some good YouTubers and I love the big, the big girls, that sounds awful. Not the big girls, like the popular girls. I love Casey Holmes, I love Nicole, you know, I love, um, who else? Jacqueline, of course everyone does. You know, like all of those like bigger YouTube gurus, for lack of a better term. But I do want to find some smaller scale people who maybe don't have as many subscribers to watch. Uh, because I feel like sometimes the girls who maybe don't have a zillion subscribers and aren't getting sent stuff left and right talk about things that are different. And that's what I'm interested in, you know, stuff that not everyone is talking about. So if you guys know, if you guys have any favorite YouTubers that maybe don't have a bazillion subscribers, um, let me know down below. I'd love to check them out and, you know, get to know some new YouTube peeps. That is it for my haul. I promise as far as makeup goes, this will be the last one for a while. Need any more blushes or foundations or highlighters or eyeliners or mascara? Hopefully you guys got some good buys too and if you haven't you still have time left to get in there And if you did pick up anything really cool at Sephora and you're just obsessed with it Let me know down below. I would love to hear about what you guys got Whew. That is all I have to say. I know I was kind of going off on a tangent there for a second But thank you guys so so much for watching. I love you all to pieces and I will see you guys next time. Bye